Dan, Mark Roberg, next for autism. I mean, where do we even, let's, it's time for a catch up. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos all about this kind of content, regardless of its news, education, tips and tricks, or just life stuff. So, if you want to learn more about this topic and you're new around here, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell and give this page a follow on Facebook and Instagram to see videos just like this every single week. Mark Rober, oh my goodness. Uh, where do I begin, right? Okay, so at the start of the week, I released a video talking about how Mark Rober had set up this autism charity because he came out saying his son's autistic and he wanted to do this charity fund drive on the 30th of April with Jimmy Kimmel and a bunch of other celebrities. And I'm not going to go into detail about why this was like a really bad idea, but one of the main things <laughs> was that the charity he was supporting, which is a company called Next for Autism, actually uh, had like a, a partners page, like people they're affiliated with and they, they, they're like partnered in their company. And one of these co partnered companies, um, regardless of also supporting Autism Speaks, which is a bit of a dirty word, um, they actually have a, um, a partnership with something called the New York Presbyterian. Now, this is a hospital um, uh, or medical facility in New York and on their mission statement page which I actually screenshotted in my initial video it says that they were for the uh, prevention uh, the treatment and prevention of autism spectrum disorder which is just I mean I don't have to be you know sitting here telling you why that's a ridiculous notion but you know to treat autism is one thing to to prevent autism spectrum disorder, to find a cure. These, these are horrible words because it's you can't you can't cure it. It's ridiculous. Like what they're trying to do. Like it, anyway, bad language, bad kind of communication, and this was highlighted many times. You know, we I, I highlighted it in video. A bunch of other people highlighted it in videos. Paige highlighted it in her TikToks, and then a couple of days ago, I go on and I see that next for autism put a statement out, right? And I'll leave a link for the statement down below. So in this statement, they say that they're none of their partners have said any of this stuff, which I put in my first video, right? You can see it in the first video, it's on their website, I go to the website and navigate to it, and there it is, black and white, and I highlight it. So I go back to the New York Presbyterian website, and it's gone. The mission statement, have they've deleted that part out of the mission statement, it no longer says that. Now, I'm all for giving people second chances, I'm all for giving people a chance, right? But when you're, when you're faced with excessive criticism, on a scale like this, and your site hasn't changed for like, you know, years and years and years. And then all of a sudden people say, dude, you can't say that. Like, what on earth are you doing? Rather than say, oh, we were wrong. Uh, we're gonna change that. They just deleted it from their site. As they say like, oh, no, we, we didn't do it. Sweep it under the rug. I mean, no, you know, if that was your mission statement, but it's now not, which you're trying to imply, then be honest, be open, say that this was our mission statement and it's not now. I mean, I just, the whole thing just stinks, right? It stinks. And it's sad because I used to like Mark Rober and I I like that he wants to do something for autism and the autism community. What I don't like is stuff like this is what like some of the controversy that happened is like he was deleting comments from people who were saying, like, Mark, you know, this this charity is not very good. He was deleting those comments. A friend of mine, Chris from Special Books by Special Kids, his video was in this video that Mark Rober released as a trailer for this uh, event coming up, and Chris phoned me saying, dude, like that's not me. Like, I didn't give the permission for him to use that video. I don't even know Mark Rober. So Mark's using people without even asking their permission in this video to make it look like everyone supports it. And so when, you know, people questioned it and Chris wrote out, they started deleting his comments. And the girl who's being interviewed by Chris in the clip that he used. It's like, hold on a minute, Mark. Like, you wanted to do this thing for charity and help people, yet you're illegally using people's footage, you not taking advice from people, as in, like, not taking, not anybody should take advice. What I mean is that when people air their concern, you just deleted it. Like, you didn't say, oh, man, that's interesting. Okay, cool. <sighs> just crazy. Anyway, fast forwarding from that, some friends um, asked if uh, I, I participate, Paige asked if I participate in, in a live stream event called uh, Autistic Now, which was on the same day, but on Twitch to raise money for other autistic charities, which were autism led by autistic people, which don't have any kind of shady mission statements. Now, I said yes to this and it's been on my socials. And if you follow me on Instagram and like Twitter and everything, you'd have seen that my poster was on there and I was going to be talking and doing uh, the, you know, singing some songs at this event on the 30th. Um, but there was some controversy with um, the Autism Self-Advocacy Network of America uh, where they plagiarized um, an indigenous person's kind of, an autistic indigenous person's uh, literature or something like that. And there was this whole thing about it. So they ended up 
as saying like, wow, you know, we can't support this um, charity. And then they realized that they were just gonna pull the event because it was so stressful. So that event got pulled as well. So this has been like drama summer. It's like bummer summer. Like it's, oh, I just don't even know. Like so much drama. And I think that like what we can learn from this is that there is a lack of representation of autistic people uh, in charity wise. So I have a project I'm working on and if you wanna keep in the loop with this project, go to the link in my description that says uh, mailing list and sign up to my mailing list because if you sign up to my mailing list, you will be the first person to know when this new project launches. It's very exciting. I'm super pumped about it. Um, yeah, you, you guys you guys gotta do it. It's gonna be good. But anyway, that being said, guys, I just, I want to stay out of drama. I want to stay out of drama. I want to stay out of all of the rubbish, but I also want to protect our community and our people. And by, you know, by be, by doing these videos, giving this awareness, I believe I'm helping people and helping the, the community. So without further ado, guys, this was just a short video to tell you about that. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of all this stuff. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace.